Hello, welcome to Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Today we want to take a tutorial on the topic algebraic expression. Now, when we talk of an expression, we are referring to any mathematical statement that is written without an equal sign. If you write any mathematical statement with the operators, numbers, and all things without an equal sign, that statement is what? An expression in mathematics. So, to say an algebraic expression, it is just a combination of mathematical statements that contain numbers and variable numbers and variable combined with what operators so we are saying that it is a mathematical statement that contains numbers these numbers are referred to as what constant one two three four five ten they are the constant that we have and a variable when they talk of variable we are referring to what the letters of the alphabet good so if i combine letters of the alphabet with that of constant that is numbers then separated by what an operator mathematical operators with uh, the addition subtraction multiplication and what division but not an equal sign that statement is what an algebraic expression so we can say that what for example if i have 5 m plus 6 n this statement here is a mathematical statement which consists of a number and a variable so this is a number this is a variable and this is a number this is a variable and this is what an operator now in writing of this it doesn't mean that the statement should always contain the same kind of operator or operators for example as we are seeing this we can see an example to mean that 5x minus 6y plus 5z. We can see that the operator used here is what? Minus. And that of this is what? Addition. That is plus. Now, when we are seeing this, this statement, these two statements is an algebraic expression because there is no equal sign here. So we call this an algebraic expression. Good. Every algebraic expression have what they call terms. When they talk of terms, we are referring to any expression, as in this form. Any expression that is separated by plus or what? Minus. Any expression, any mathematical expression that is separated by what? Plus or minus that become a term so if i take the first example how many terms do you think i have here we can see that the plus is separating the two terms 5m and 6n so we have only what two terms right then if i come here i have a minus separating 5x and 6y I have a plus that separates 6y and 5z. So in this case, I have what? Three terms. So a terms are separated by what? Mathematical operators. And these operators is only plus and minus. Addition and subtraction. Multiplication and division does not give us the term. Does not give us term. Multiplication combine the terms. As you can see here, 5m is 5 times m, 6n, 6 times n, but this is combined as one term. This is also combined as what? One term. I believe you get it. So if I give you an expression that is 4x plus t plus 5t minus 3s. And I ask you how many terms are in this expression. I believe you can be able to count by looking at the, the operator. This is separating between these two. This also separate this. This separate this. So we're having one, two, three, four. Four terms in this expression. I believe it's clear. 
So when I talk of terms, we are referring to any expression that is separated by plus or what? Minus. Either plus or end. It could be combined. As you can see in this case. Alright. We have what we call like terms. We know we have like fractions. We have like terms. When we talk of like terms, we are referring to an expression or any algebraic expression that have the same order of terms. The same order. Order in terms of power. If I have a variables that have order in terms of powers. So, for example, if I look at 5x If I want to find out which terms here are like terms, which terms here are like terms, my concern is going to be on the variables. My concern will be on the variable but not on the numbers. So I'll be looking at the variables that are having the same order. The same variable with the same order. Meaning x, x, x is the same variable. Do they have the same order as in exponent if i have x to the power one x to the power one so in this expression i can say that 5x plus 3x these two terms preceding the expression is like them or are like terms meaning they are like terms terms that are having the same variable with the same order the orders will be the same I don't know if you are getting this clear. If I have this, 4x squared y plus 5x squared y squared 6x squared y. If I have this term, I believe in this case you can tell how many terms we have. How many terms we have. We have term 1, term 2, term 3. Because this is plus, this is plus, separating them. So there are three terms out here. Now we are trying to find out the like terms. The terms that are having the same variable with the same order. So I will have 4, 5. We don't think about the constant. We only think about what? The variable. So x square y. x square y square. x square y. We can see that x square, x square, x square. Y is having a power of 1, power of 2, power of 1. So in terms of like terms, we are going to say that 4x squared y plus 6x squared y plus 5x squared y squared. The first two preceding the term is going to be like terms. I believe you are getting the concept now. Like terms. Good, because they have the same variable with the same order. Order simply means the same exponent. Exponent 2, exponent 2, 1, 1. I explained earlier on that multiplication does not give us a term. That is why we are having 1, 2, 3 items, but we call it a term. Because this multiplication combines the x squared and the y together. I believe on the same page. Good. Now, if we have like terms, or these terms we are having here, any algebraic expression, as we are seeing here, have, consists of a constant and what? A variable. A constant that precedes a variable is called coefficient. So, let me say if I have 4x plus y, this is called coefficient, where the x is called variable variable because it is the the letters of the alphabet the variable then you are saying that the numbers are called what? constant now but if the constant precede a variable it is called coefficient it is a constant in this case 4x plus y plus 5 three terms this is x y 5. 5 is, in this case, a number. So we call it what? A constant. It is standing alone. So it's a constant. Right? But if it precedes or it comes before 
a variable. It becomes coefficient, a constant that precedes a variable or that precedes a letter that become coefficient. All right, these terms, we will be using it in simplification of algebraic expression. I believe as up to this point, you can be able to tell what is an algebraic expression. What is a term of algebraic expression? And what is like term? And better still, we can be able to tell the coefficient and the variable of an expression. So now let's see how we can use this with the operator, that is addition, subtraction, and multiplication. All right, so let's deal with the addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. One trick we have to know here is that it is only like terms that are added or subtracted. It is only So if it is not a like terms, we cannot add. So as in example, let's say we are to simplify. We are asked to simplify this expression. 5x plus 6y plus 4 plus what? 3y. If you are asked to simplify this, you are going to look out for the like terms. Combine the like terms, the terms that have the variables of equal power. So I can see x, 5x has no other like terms, so I maintain that 6y, 3y plus 4. Don't forget, I have not reduced the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four terms. Now, if you look at this, the one in the bracket is what? A like term. Or are the like terms? 5x is not like terms. Then 4 is also a constant on its own. So these are like terms. So this is the only term we can add or subtract. In this case, add. Good. Now, if you are adding an algebraic expression, the variables that we are having are only attached to the coefficients. So we take them as branding. We are branding an item. So this will be six green balls. There is also what? Three green balls. So the Y is just a branding to tell that the ball is green. Then in this case, we can use the Y, which is a different letter, to mean the ball is black. So if I'm asked to find total number of green balls, I cannot add black balls to that of the green balls. So I'll only be saying that 6 green ball plus 3 green ball give me 9 green balls. You see that the green ball will not be like 9 green green ball. It will only be 9 green ball. So this becomes 5x plus 9 green ball plus the constant. So no need to say that 6 plus this will give me 9. Then the y plus y also give me 2y or y squared. No, I am adding. I am only adding the branding. So if it is, uh, let's say, oranges, I can say 6 oranges plus 3 oranges. That becomes 9 oranges. I believe you've gotten it. So this will be the final answer. There is nothing we can do in this case to simplify our solution. Are you with me? Good. Let's take another example to see how best we can do that. So look at this. I saw the first two. Then you pause the video and solve the last one before you continue to see what the answer will be. So 5y plus 4 minus 9x plus 3y plus 11x. So we are going to group the like terms together, the terms that we can add or subtract. So I can see y to the power 1, y to the power 1, so like terms. x to the power 1, x to the power 1 like terms. The constant is only one. So I am going to group my... Normally we write them with in order of alphabetical order. That is writing the x first. So I can decide to bring my... Okay, let me start with the y. So that I will not... This sign will have to be 
the nine coming out of all the negative. So let me start with the the y. Then this becomes plus three y. Then we have minus nine x plus eleven x plus what four. Let's get this one, two, three, four, five. Five times one, two, three, four, five. Five times. So the first two like terms, then this will also be like them. Allow me to put the bracket in that terms. Now I am putting a bracket here. I don't want to mean that I am multiplying. It is not that I am multiplying. I just want to say that this term is what like them. If I put a, a bracket here, you will be seeing it as nine x plus eleven x. That is not what I want. So if the bracket is just meaning that the first two should be added and the last two should also be what added. So this is going to be five yellow balls plus three yellow ball. That gives me eight yellow balls. This is negative nine. And this is what? Eleven. You know, addition is commutative. So if I have this, minus nine plus eleven. I can rearrange the position to make it what? Eleven minus what? Nine. Eleven is positive. It is still positive. The nine is negative. It is still negative. So eleven minus nine, that is possible to add or to subtract. So this is going to be 3, as in positive 3. So I have plus 3x, then plus what? 4. So my answer is just going to be 8y plus 3x plus 4. That's my final answer. Simplification. How simple this will be. That is the final answer. Good. Then for the second one, you can see x squared, x to the power 1, x to the power 2. Forget about the constants. The constant is just how many of that variable we are having there. So, 8 here meaning there are 8 of the y. Alright, so this is going to be our half x squared combined with 2x squared plus what? x. Don't forget, x squared is also a branding. Don't say because it's x squared, so how many of the x are we adding? No, the x squared is a brand. It is just a description for that. It means there is always a 1 as a coefficient for every variable that is not having a constant. So there is 1 here. Meaning, if I'm using x squared as a branding, as what? Yellow. That yellow what? One yellow ball. This one yellow ball. And this what? Two yellow ball. So one yellow ball plus two yellow ball will give me three yellow ball. Meaning there is a 1 in front of every coefficient. So that 1 plus this will give me 3x squared plus what? x. I believe you get a concept. So the like terms is not only going to be a variable without power. There should be a power. It could be power of 3, the order of 3, 2, 3, 4. You just have to locate the variable of the same kind with the same order. All right. Then let's take the last one. I believe at this point, you've paused the video and you are back. Good. You can see x, x, y, y, constant, constant. So I group that together to mean that I'll have my x and x coming together to give me 5x plus 3x. Then the y will come, which will be minus 6y the next one will be minus 6y then we have plus 4 minus what? 2 I'm trying to maintain the term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there are 6 terms so I'm still having the 6 terms the first 2 is going to be at this point I know you had 8x this is minus what? 6 plus minus 6. Minus 6 plus minus 6. There are two minus coming together. It will increase in number. Still be minus. So this is going to be minus 12y plus 4 minus 2 is what? 2. So I'm just going to have 8x minus 12y 
plus 2 as my final answer. Nothing else to be done. So this is on algebraic expression, addition and that of what? Subtraction of algebraic expression. Any question on this? Any question? You send that to the... So if you have any question, you send that to the comment section and I will also look at it. But this is going to be for you after watching this. 4x square y plus 5xy square plus 3x square y minus 2xy square. Try and see if you can provide an answer to this. Then send the answer to the comment section and I'll be glad to also read it and uh, we can continue from there. We'll continue with the multiplication and division in the next episode. So keep glue to your phone and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click on that notification bell so that anytime a video is uploaded or any next, next episode that I upload, you'll be the first to receive it. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.